prostration. As the Prophet said, I was ordered to prostrate on seven limbs. He said, the face, and he pointed to his nose, meaning the forehead and the nose. These are related. This is one organ. The hands, the knees, and the feet. These are seven. So, I want to go to sujood. Do I raise my hands? No. I just say Allahu Akbar while falling to sujood. And this is what I do. Allahu Akbar. This is the way of performing sujood. What are the things I should pay attention to? Before I do the prostration, I'm still in the standing position. You have to know that first of all, my hands should be pointing to the Qibla. So my hands are not this way and are not this way. Rather, they are pointing to the Qibla. Now, where should I place my hands? I have the option either to place my hands next to my shoulders or a little bit close to my ears. My knees are not so close together, they are apart. My feet, they are close to each other, erect with some toes, not all of them because it's, it's impossible to have all your toes pointing to the Qibla, but the toes that are bendable can point to the Qibla. My arms are wide and spread, so my biceps are not close to my uh, uh, sides. So I have to spread as I'm spreading my wings. And my stomach is not touching my thighs. Some people just go very down. And I'll show you in any yeah, quickly, hopefully to the best of my knowledge and ability. So my forehead, my nose must touch the ground. And these seven limbs must touch the ground throughout the sujood. Because part of the famous mistakes is having your feet dangling. Or some of the brothers having the left hand on the ground and the other hand while prostrating, playing with his beard or, or looking at something in his pocket. So he's prostrating on six limbs and this renders his sujood void if he does this without any legitimate reason. So I was standing up. Now I'm falling into the sujood position and I'm saying Allahu Akbar in between. So let's look at how I make the sujood. This is one of the ways of doing it. So my hands and fingers should be pointing towards the Qibla. My face, my forehead, and my nose are touching the ground. I should have my arms apart and away from my body. And at the same time, my stomach is not touching my thighs. Some brothers do this, and this is wrong. And this is too much spread. So the appropriate way is either having my hands next to my ears or to my shoulders. I can have this one here, and I can have this one here. Look at my feet. They are touched together, not far away. They are touched together with my toes bent towards the Qibla as much as possible. Now, if I'm praying next to people, to my right and to my left, if I do this, I'm going to annoy them and maybe harm them. So it is permissible when you are in a tight position to put your elbows on your thighs or inside. What is haram and prohibited is to do this. This is prohibited, which I have my arms, forearms, on the ground like a dog. And the Prophet said that this is totally prohibited.